up of things that aren't logical. They want to believe the worst no matter what. So they will do whatever they can to believe the worst. You see? Whether it means, oh, I will commit federal crimes to try to get some factual information. And then what I'll do is I'll use that to do horrible things. I'll completely impersonate Phil and try to do a million things in his name that are completely illegal. I'll try to, you know, use that to try to fabricate stuff. I'll try to use that to say nasty stuff about him that's, that you know, it's fucked up. And it's what I mean. This is my life now. You know, it sucks. Right? So, ignoring them is the best way to deal with it. Okay? It really is. It's, I'm sorry. I know those, oh, why don't we address the drama? Why don't we have a special to, to, to talk about it? Because it doesn't help. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter even when I disprove everything. It's not good enough for these crazy people. All right? And now that federal crimes have been committed, yes, you notice I keep repeating that because they are federal crimes. This is not just someone fucked around with someone on, on the internet and trolled them, slander or defamation on YouTube. This is to the point of now major repercussions. And I hope people understand that. Anyone who's talking about this, not knowing fully what they're saying is true or not, guess what? You're part of the problem and you're part of the issue and you are going to be held accountable too. It's just that simple. You're part of it now. You're actually passing around stuff that should not be passed around and you're going to be in trouble just as well. So, you know, I can't stop anyone from doing anything. I can't, but I'm just saying, you know, and when an investigation is underway, uh, it is what it is. Okay? That's as far as I can say. Like I said, I really can't say any specifics for past that because I've been advised not to. What I will... Oh, no. Oh no, I'm in trouble guys. I'm in, this is like my fourth YouTube scandal in like four months and what the fuck is happening and blah, blah, blah. So I'm setting up a GoFundMe for my bail payment, obviously. Um, I'm heading off to jail right now. They're coming to get me. I'm heading to jail. So you guys probably won't see me for about a good 10 to 20 seconds. Fuck off, Philip. So anyways, I put uh, most of this video together last night, um, but people kept commenting, you know, on the community tab and on a couple of videos that, you know, they were saying, are you going to cover this? Are you going to cover this? And I said no, because, you know, everybody put out a video on it yesterday. Literally everybody did. So I didn't bother with it, but people, you know, were asking. So I said, fuck it. I'll at least clip a piece of it and then I'm going to use it to lead into everything else we're going to watch today. But going back to the beginning of that, he says people are committing federal crimes to try and get some factual <laughs> information. And then he says they're going to use that to try to fabricate stuff. Like what? Like what, piece of shit? What are they fabricating? Transaction histories? Your actual checking account statements? Fuck out of here. And he says, direct quote, ignoring them is the best way to deal with it. This guy is so fucking stupid, man. So stupid. Ignoring and lying about everything is what got you into this position in the first place, Philip. Then another quote. Why don't we have a special to address the drama? He's fucking delusional, man. He's delusional. Talking about holding a PBS special to address the drama. And then probably my favorite quote and the part that I was like, you know what, I can use this. It doesn't matter even when I disprove everything. It doesn't matter for these crazy people. What have you disproved over the years? What have you fucking disproved? Even the escort shit, you didn't disprove it. Kiwi Farms did. And it still was half true. Half truths and nugget of truths and all that bullshit. But anyways, it doesn't matter even when I disprove everything. It doesn't matter for these crazy people. So we're going to look at a couple of videos here. And you can tell by the title what they're going to be. We're going to see how he disproves stuff. How he disproves stuff after it happens. And well, the first one is probably the best one. We're going to talk to an 11 year old girl. First, we're going to see what Philip. How it played out in his mind months after the fact when he did his seven years of slander video. And then we're going to hear from the 11 year old girl and hear what actually happened. And then we got some more clips after that, obviously. But 11 year old girl, please take us away. Um, all right, let's continue here. I wanted to hit an 11 year old girl. You're right. I just wanted to just, you know, punch a girl right in the fucking face. I cop up to that one. 
No, what the fuck are you talking about? This all spawned from two years ago. I was playing this stupid VR chat thing, whatever the fuck it is. I don't even know what it is, um, what it's supposed to be. And there was a girl on there who obviously should not have been playing VR chat unsupervised. You could tell she was probably like 11 years old, probably accurate. That's about how old she sounded. Why the fuck her parents are letting her play VR chat, the world of disgusting people going in there saying swears and sexual things and all kinds of fucked up stuff, right? Um... That's just crazy, right? But there was a girl who I walked into a room and literally just became an insane brat insulting me and saying nasty shit to me. I didn't even say a word. And she was saying, like, nasty shit direct to me. I was like, damn, you know, that girl needs a fucking smack or something. I don't even remember exactly what I said, but it was a reactionary thing basically saying, you know, she needs, she, her, she needs a smack because if that was me in my day when I was growing up and I was a kid, if I acted like that, my parents would smack me right in the head. That's just how it was back then. You know, today, God forbid anyone ever touch a kid, but back then that's how it was. You get disciplined for acting like a shithead to people. Um, you know, so I made a comment, off the cuff comment about that. It wasn't to the kid, by the way. It was a private comment. It wasn't like I ran up to the kid's face and insulted the kid. It was just to my streaming audience. I said, damn, you know, that girl deserves a smack for acting like that. And they twisted that into Phil wants to beat up an 11 year old girl. What the fuck? Now, if I had actually said on stream, I want to beat up an 11-year-old girl, do you think I'd be on Twitch today? Of course not. They would have banned me. But I didn't say that. It was an off-the-cuff comment. You're, you, it's stupidity. It's absolute stupidity, that pe things that people say and twist the shit into. Okay? Um, let's see here. <laughs> and please welcome the 11-year-old girl to the video here. Please, everybody, round of applause for the 11-year-old girl having to relive. I feel like, I do feel like Jerry Springer now. Come on down, 11-year-old girl, and you're going to have to relive this horrible flashback with this horrible, horrible man. But, uh, oh, at the end of it, if I did that, do you think I'd be on Twitch today? Isn't it Shawn Michaels? I love it. But going back to the beginning of it. So he's just spitting his bullshit. And this is a direct quote. Why are her parents letting her play VR chat in a world of disgusting people going in there saying swears and sexual things <laughs> and all kinds of fucked up stuff, right? Unquote. And you couldn't be a better example of what you were talking about right there, Philip. You're right. Her parents should have protected her from you, obviously. Then another direct quote. So he's, he's thinking how the story played out in his head. So he says, there was a girl. I walked into a room and she literally just became an insane brat, insulting me and saying nasty shit to me. I didn't even say a word. And she was saying nasty shit direct to me. I was like, damn, you know, that girl needs a fucking smack or something. I don't even remember exactly what I said. Unquote. And well... I went through a bunch of documents and I found the clip and we're going to listen to it here in a second. But then towards the end of it, he also talks about, he says that he used to get smacked and disciplined as a kid. Motherfucker, do you honestly think this piece of trash ever got smacked or disciplined? If he did, he wouldn't have fucking turned out this way. I can promise you that. But now let's hear what the little girl has to say on the subject and let's see what actually happened, Philip. Sure, where is the waiting room? Right behind you, idiot. You click on that. You didn't have to call me an idiot. I just walked in the door. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Well, if you look around, you would have been able to know. It literally says waiting room on top of it. Wow. You're quite rude. Wow. I'm 11. Deal with it. You're 11? And your parents bought you a gaming PC? What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Probably because I'm part wolf. You click on it, just so you know. You click on it, ah. Oh. Good, now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they talked to me like that. <laughs> I would have fucking pimp slapped that shit out of that <laughs> What the fuck? Anyway. What is going on? I don't even know where I am or what's going on. 
All right, I love that clip so fucking much, man. So fucking much. But whew, let's go back to the beginning. So he comes into the room and he does what he does best. He just sits there and just gets on people's nerves, just stands in the way. And she comes up to him and she says, can you please go in the waiting room? Direct quote. Can you please go in the waiting room? And then he says, sure. But then he asks her where the waiting room is. And by the way, it's literally right behind him. So she says, it's right behind you, idiot. <laughs> and then he says, he gets his little feelings hurt and says, you didn't have to call me an idiot. I just got here. And, you know, she obviously tells him that she's 11. And then he says what he says. But so then he gets in the little portal and just stands there. It doesn't do anything. So she has to tell him you click on it just so you know. And then that's where everything falls apart because that's too much for Phil. This big tough guy right here. You can't talk to him like that. So he gets his little fucking attitude. Then he actually clicks on it. And once he's safely away from the little 11 year old girl, big tough Burnell comes out. And I quote, good. Now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real life if they talked to me like that. I would have fucking pimp slapped the shit out of that kid. Unquote. Do you need to hear it again? Good. Now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they talked to me like that. I would have fucking pimp slapped the shit out of that kid. And then he does probably the most annoying laugh I've ever heard watching this guy. Woo. I wish I knew who this girl was. I wish I knew who she was. I would send her a $100 gift card right now to whatever store 11-year-old girls like getting stuff from. I don't fucking know. But prayer hands in chat once again for the little girl, please. I declare the little girl the victor. And then he ends the clip with, I don't know where I am or what's going on. That's obviously the total fucking wine talking Philip. He has no fucking clue. Woo. So the next clip is going to be something I heard recently. Oh my God. And it was actually the day that the planned Carl invasion was supposed to take place. Wink, wink. As, as you obviously know, that was a real statement. And I heard him say something that fucking triggered me. It was regarding Snow Carl. And we're going to see what it was. And afterwards, I might come back on. But I'm going to end up playing some clips back to back to back like Drake. But let's see what Phil said to trigger me. I'm laying down the law and saying no more this this derailment bullshit. No more using those Carl names to join a meme. The only person in my estimation who it's okay for them to have that name is Snow Carl. Snow Carl was the first guy to use it. And everyone else tried to bite off of him <clears throat> and basically try to create a meme about him and stuff. It's not his fault that these people are doing that. I mean, half the time Snow Carl's not here. These people meme about they think he's banned when he's not. He's never, he's not banned. He's never been banned to my knowledge. So I don't know why these idiots make this shit up, you know? Why should he have to suffer because idiots are coming in and trying to basically derail my stream? You motherfucker. Direct quote. I mean, half the time, Snow Carl's not here. These people meme about, they think he's banned when he's not. He's not banned. He's never been banned to my knowledge, unquote. At the total fucking wine talking again, Philip. We're going to play five clips back to back to back like Drake. And I'm just going to play them all back to back. I don't give a fuck anymore. Just remember that Snow Carl's never been banned to Phil's knowledge well, just like uh, just like at the beginning of the video when he said, it doesn't matter even when I disprove everything. It doesn't matter for these crazy people. Well, let's see who the crazy person is. Sure, I'll clarify why I banned Snow Carl. First of all, he's talking about... Oh, I like this girl. I like that girl. Who do you like, Phil? I've only talked a million times about how I'm not like that. I'm 38 years old. I'm not going to sit here and talk about girls that I like in fucking games when I'm married in real life. He knows that. He does it to annoy me and to derail the stream. Then he starts talking about the tractor stuff, and that's the last straw. 
It's one thing if he's gonna be annoying the whole stream and do it on purpose. It's another thing if he's gonna actually try to like now bring up negative shit to derail the stream. So that's a double violation of the rules. I've had enough. He's gone. I'm just not putting up with his shit anymore. I'm done with it. <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm not. I'm not playing no fucking games. I got. I'm trying to play a game and enjoy, it and I gotta be annoyed by a new, a stupid shit. There's a kid, by the way. But I'm gonna do the other thing first. You mean I can't just sit here and annoy the streamer all day long and get away with it? No, fuck off, you idiot. You fucking pain in my ass. Okay. You're right, I am stressed. I'm sitting in here. I'm sitting in the office that's about 85 to 90 degrees with a vest on. I'm sweating profusely as I'm trying to play a game, and I gotta put up with some dickhead trolling. No, I don't. I'm gonna give him the fucking boot, and he's never coming back. He knows better. He does it on purpose to annoy me, and it's enough of that shit. Do you find that sometimes life gets in the way of playing video games? Yes, and it should be like that. Snow Curl Trees, how about if we meet today's tip skill, you cancel next day's break? No, I need a break. How dare you? Snow Curl, you're doing it again. I'll tell you right now, Snow Curl, you're fucking doing it again. You want me to cancel the break that's there so that I don't have issues being sedentary all day, stretching my limbs, getting a drink, seeing my wife. You're being a jerk. Snowcrawl, I don't understand how you don't understand how stupid this is. Stop it right fucking now. Because I don't want to have to permanently ban you, but I'm having enough of your shit. Yeah, cancel the fucking break. Oh my god. I hear another Kadama. Snowcrawl! Uh, dude! I'm serious now. Fucking stop it. Stop it now. I will fucking put the controller down and ban your ass on the fucking spot if you don't shut the fuck up with this nonsense. I had it. Br it. Cutting out the break of the stream is bad for my fucking health. How is that good? Oh, that's a positive change. I've had enough of your shit. So just shut up now. Oh my god. Doodly, I saw that your, your subscription had expired recently, and thank you, Sundance McGee, for the support. Uh, Snow Carl cheered. He says, "Can we get a personal call or chat set up between you and Papa Vera, so he doesn't have to cheer to help out in Minecraft?" No, we're not gonna have some kind of a voice call going during the the, the, the streams. The system we got works fine. The system we got has been working very well, and I appreciate all of Papa Vera's uh, instruction and contributions to the streams, and. What's hilarious, Snow Carl, is that you're completely off base because he tweets me the instructions and I follow the instructions off of Twitter. He doesn't have to, you know, cheer to give me instructions, so you're a liar. And you're trying to instigate stuff again. Here we are. We just started the stream. Snow Carl already is trying to instigate problems. So I'm going to say this once up front. Snow Carl, mind your own damn business. Last chance. One more time. You're out of here for good. And this time, it doesn't matter how many dozens of weeping people there are in the stream. I'm going to laugh and I, when I kick your ass out the door. Okay? Prez Vegeta. <clears throat> okay, Snow Carl, you're going to already start. So if you start, I'm just going to time you out. And then we'll keep timing you out repeatedly during the stream. And then I'll just ban you after. How does that sound? Sound good? Immediately you're going to say something negative. This is my, my first moment on stream. Actually talking to my audience for the new week. The first thing out of Snow Carl's mouth is something negative. So, I'm just going to time you right out, and we'll just go from there. How does that sound? Does that sound good to you? <laughs> Seriously. I, the first thing out of his lip is something negative. Gee, I wonder why people don't like Snow Carl that much. And by the way, I'm going to tell you something, Snow Carl. I've been getting complaints about you. Just being honest. There's been multiple people over the past week who have already complained about you and your attitude on the streams. That you've been saying negative stuff, and you're derailing, and you're arguing with people. I actually got complaints about that. When I go on break, you come and argue with people. So, I think at this point, it's time to just clear the air. You gotta watch out for yourself and, uh, you know, watch what you're saying and doing on my streams and behave like everyone else. Because if you keep it up, you're out of here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Snow Carl tipped me a dollar, says, it's me again if you consider my unbanned. Well, Snow Carl, I'll be very honest with you. You really pissed me off earlier this year with your way you behaved on the streams repeatedly over and over. And even though you apologized, I honestly didn't didn't believe that your apologies were wholehearted. I'm just being honest, you know. 
Um, there's some people who I feel over time, they can learn from their mistakes and they can learn to be a better person and they can come back and be another, a, a stream participant again. But you like, you always, you know, you always had to do, you had to do, twist that knife and you got unbanned a million times and every time you never learned your lesson. You know what I mean? Every effing time you never learned your lesson. It was like you couldn't resist doing that behavior that you knew was insulting and not allowed on the stream. You just couldn't help yourself. And I almost, I'm at the point with people like you, all right, because it's you and there are several others in the same situation as you, that I feel like I'm enabling you by letting you back into the streams to do that kind of behavior. That toxic, hurtful, negative behavior that you being in the stream now, oh my God, I can't control myself. I got to do it again, you see? And it may not be today and it may not be tomorrow and it may not be in a week, but I almost feel like it's it's inevitable, right? That you're going to be doing stuff that's going to be negative. In addition to that, I already know that you're in other other detractor chats constantly because people tell me about it all the time. <laughs> I don't actively seek that information. I don't. I don't actively seek that information whatsoever, but people snitch. I'll just get anonymous email. Here's evidence that Snow Carl is still talking shit about you in a detractor chat. There it is. I'm not looking for it, but you gotta, I, that's what I keep telling people. You gotta understand that everything you do on the internet is public. Everything. You may think you're safe hiding in your little hidey holes of other chats and, and a, a Twitter feed over here. You may not think that I'm gonna look at. People find that stuff and end up just sending it to me. I don't even ask for it. I don't care. But then they send it to me. You know? So... I'm sorry, Snow Carl, but the only way I could ever believe that you actually are going to reform yourself is if you completely shut yourself off from any kind of activity that's like basically making fun of me, tearing myself and my family members a new one, constant annoying insults and criticism. You'd have to completely stay away from that for an extended period of time. I'd have to not hear from anyone that you're in detractor chats and shit for an extended period of time. And then you'd have to come to me and say, I really reformed. I've made my case now. Please let me back. And then I would consider it. But you have done none of those. So you're not coming back. Dark Viking 159 tipped me $150. Thank you, Dark Viking. Let me get him right up on the leaderboard. And then I'll read you his message here. That is really, really appreciated right now. <clears throat> All right. Fuck off, Dark Viking. I don't got time for your bullshit. But... I mean, half the time, Snow Carl's not here. These people meme about, they think he's banned when he's not. He's not banned. He's never been banned to my knowledge, unquote. It doesn't matter even when I disprove everything. It doesn't matter for these crazy people. Tch, fucking idiot. Whatever. What? This is what he does, man. He just, he says so much shit daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and his brain-dead fans just, you know, they just accept it, man. They just, they roll over, emphasize on the roll, but they roll over and just, they're submissive, and they just don't fucking, they don't even question him. And the minute they do, he bans their ass, and they don't want to lose their spot, but it takes somebody that Who's going to fucking say, fuck it, then I'm going to take the time and I'm going to look into this and I'm going to put it all together. And this is what it takes. This is why I wish Tevin was still around. This is partly why I started making videos, because Tevin would take the fucking time. He would go back and he would look this shit up and he would put it all together. And, you know, I'm trying my best to do this. So, but whatever, he's a fucking liar, as we know. To further prove that, uh, that theory, we're going to watch... And I broke it down into two clips. We're going to watch the state of the stream. I believe this was from January 2020. It's going to be mainly about mobile games, but there's a few other nuggets of truth uh, put in there. So let's see what Phil has to say regarding the state of the stream. And, well, let's be honest, his fucking lies. Let's go. Questions, guys? All right. The stupidity here is someone... Well, is there, is there a nugget of truth about the WWE mobile games? I already talked about this. I think it was last night or the night before. Here, I'll say it one more time for all of you. All right? At one point, I played WWE Supercard, 
That was a mobile game I played like five, six years ago, a lot. For about a year, I played it pretty hardcore, all right? Even at that point, that was before everything kind of fell apart with YouTube and everything. I was putting a little bit of money into it. I was playing for the top cards. I was playing the shit out of that game, okay? After about a year, they launched what they called Season 2, which reset all the cards in the game and made every all your progress essentially worthless. And I said, this game fucking sucks. What a complete waste of time that this was, all right? Um... And at this point, this is so frustrating, okay, that I really feel that I, I, I said I'm just never playing this again. And I did. I quit it cold turkey. About I think it was about a year later. I went back and I reinstalled the game just to try it. And it was shitty. Like, I didn't really like it anymore. It was way too complicated. There were, like, multiple seasons of cards being played. And it was, like, the only way to even play it at any level that's enjoyable, you have to dump a ton of money into it. So I stopped playing it. There was another game called WWE Champions that was, like, I want to say it was, like, early 2017 it came out. And I played it on and off casually over the course of that year, along with all the other mobile games that I was playing. I was playing um, Dragon Ball, what was it? Uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy Brave XVS, um, Marvel Future Fight, and at one point I was playing this Fox cartoon characters card game as well. Um, and I only played it casually. That was the game that I kind of like casually grinded in and just played on and off as a free-to-play game. And I stopped playing it because I, I lost interest in it. It was it's a it's a gem breaker game where it's like playing um, what is it like Candy Crush or whatever. Um, but that was always the side game. That I played. The other games were my major focus at the time. And uh, by the way, I quit all of that stuff when Cat moved in in 2018. I quit all mobile games. I don't play them anymore. I got rid of them. I said I'd rather focus time on important stuff with my family and stuff. I don't waste time. They're all. I keep telling you guys this. Mobile games are money sinks. There, you'll put money into it. You put time into it and money into it, and you don't get anything really out of it unless you're constantly keep playing and sinking more money into it. Motherfucking X to doubt that statement, Philip. He looks like a fucking gremlin in that clip, man. Jesus, looks so bad. Let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> Direct quote. Is there a nugget of truth about the WWE mobile games? Gee, Phil, where have we heard this nugget of truth shit before? Maybe yesterday about the fucking bank leaks, you piece of shit? And he says he was playing it hardcore and was putting a little bit of money into it do you see the totals on your screen does that look like a little bit of money to you fucking snake and then oh my god direct quote i quit it cold turkey i quit it cold turkey i don't even fucking have to say anything y'all already know and then Go back and watch his eyes when he talks about WWE Champions. And he's talking about the time frame, trying to figure out when it was. It looks like the Magic 8 Ball when you would shake it up. And it, it's fucking like rolling around. He, his eyes look like they're just rolling around like the 8 Balls. He's trying to think up his lie. It's ridiculous. And then the best part of the clip for me happens. It's real subtle, but he's thinking about the time frame he supposedly played Champions, right? But he fucks up. He, he's trying to downplay how little he played Champions, and he says, this is a direct quote, along with all the other mobile games I was playing, unquote. It's fucking perfection. Go back and watch the clip. He thinks he's being slick by pointing out he barely played Champions, and he leans forward, and he does his little devil face that he likes to make, because he thinks he just outsmarted everyone, when in reality, he just admitted that he was dumping money into a bunch of other mobile games he's so fucking stupid i love that part he thinks he's so smart but he ends up being so fucking stupid and of course i quit all mobile games when cat moved in blah 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 some loving marriage you have there of philip let's listen to the second part of the video and well just gonna get deeper let's uh, go the truth of the matter now these idiots want me to show you my accounts and everything how the fuck am i going to do that so i show you on my screen oh that's not your account that's someone else's or i show you on my screen oh look that's a name we didn't know now let's go scour the internet for other times phil used that fucking name and other things so we can find other accounts that he's done and hack other accounts and get more personal information fuck you all right i've had enough of this shit i've seriously am tired 
every little fucking thing in my life being micro analyzed by a bunch of no lie, worthless, disgusting, toxic, do nothing, ne'er do wells who will never ever have a shred of fucking positivity in their lives. They live in their fucking Paris basements, they hide from real life, and they do this shit anonymously on the internet because they can get away for, for it. If they didn't get away with it in real life, they would all hide like the cowards they fucking are. No. Fuck off. Stop fucking with me and every little thing that I say and do and twisting it into something it's not. Stop trying to take information from three, four years ago and turn it into something now that it's not to ruin me. I'm tired of this shit. Really, it gets to the point where I get so fucking frustrated and it just gets pent up pain inside of me because any little thing that I say and do on a stream can be turned construed into something that it's not or that something nasty can be made out of something that I did innocently years ago and now you're going to somehow try to fuck with me and I know because I, I know I know exactly what happens. If I show you an account on my phone, oh my god, now we got something else on them. Use that name, Scar the It's never gonna end. It never will end. There's no, you know, the reason I did this stream today was to get everyone caught up on stuff that was going on. I knew that talking about a foreclosure and a bankruptcy that was public knowledge that was gonna be on the internet. I knew those idiots were gonna misrepresent it and lie about shit. So I went out on my best interest here and I told you guys very transparently about what's going on with that, okay? Anything else that you hear is fucking horseshit, period. If I have stuff that I feel is important to my streams or my content or that I need to reveal to you about my personal life, I will. But all this other shit, I'm so fucking tired of hearing it. I really am. I'm just done with it. I'm done addressing it. I'm done fucking putting up with it. Enough is fucking enough. My life has been systematically fucked up year after year by people fucking with me. I can't get sponsorships. I can't get all the same opportunities every other full-time streamer gets because of you pieces of fucking shit trying to ruin my life. Fuck you. I'm done putting up with your shit. I'm not entertaining for a single moment any more of your stupid bullshit. You could say anything you fucking want. I don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Ah. <sighs> I guess that's going to be it, guys. He was so proud of himself after that. So fucking proud of himself. But this clip is why I can't show any pity, sympathy, or empathy towards you. As I've said a million times, and I will continue to say, you deserve this life, Philip. You deserve it. Let's go back to the beginning. So... You didn't want to show your account before to disprove champions. Maybe you should show it now, buddy. You know, this could be a major headache that you could get rid of. Yeah, there's a lot of other headaches right now. But this mobile game shit is one of the big ones. And you can make it all go away if you show your champion's account. Why won't you prove it? Why won't you fucking prove it? And I'll tell you what. Here's a friendly challenge to you, Philip. If you show your champion's account and prove it isn't you with actual video proof, not some fucking screenshot, I'll delete my fucking channel, dude. I'll stop making videos. I'll retire as a detractor. And yeah, there's a lot of other detractors out there and you'd only be getting rid of one of them. But there's something different about this one, Philip, And I think you know that, my friend. Again, this is just a friendly challenge to you, buddy. I know you won't do it, but... Show your fucking account, man. Just show it's not you. Get people back on your side. Fucking blah, blah, blah. I know it ain't gonna happen. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I'll be uploading all the fucking time. Uh, so let's go on to the last uh, part of the video. This is gonna be the longest part, though, because I broke down the day he told the story of the missing PS5 and... I broke it down into five. I mean, I sat through an entire fucking pre-stream. And I got all the clips that I needed. It tells the story pretty well. This isn't necessarily about his lies and proving anything or disproving anything. It's just the way he feigns distress. Keep in mind, this was one fucking pre-stream. One day, one morning, a, like an hour, hour and a half. Look at how he acted. The... Re the the effect he has on his fans, and let's just get into it. Fuck it. Let's go. Our system, you should get it on Monday. All right? Now, I explained to them the situation. I said, you have to understand, I'm a live streamer. And I am now going to potentially lose out 
on an entire weekend of coverage of the PlayStation 5. People are telling me that if I don't cover it on launch day, they're going to go elsewhere to watch other people cover it. That is a giant blow for my business. We're talking potentially lo losing thousands of views and potentially losing lots of money. All right, just being honest. You guys were geared up and ready to watch me cover the launch of the PlayStation 5. <clears throat> and this is now potentially going to hurt my business in a very, very big way. Because people are now going to say, well, if Phil doesn't get this on launch day, I'm going to go watch someone else, right? Let's be honest here. That's what people, I mean, people told me that outright in the chat yesterday, overnight on Twitter. They're saying, that's what I'm going to do, Phil. Sorry, I was going to support you. But since you can't get it on launch day, I'm just going to go somewhere else. That's not good. That's not my fault that this is happening. And now my business is being negatively affected. So after explaining the situation to Amazon, first they tried to weasel out of it. I'm be honest here. They did. They tried to weasel out of it. And they're like, yeah, but you got to understand as a customer that we don't promise a release date. I said, I don't care. I don't care what you promise or what you don't. Your system is what screwed up here, not me. I did not authorize that you bump my pre-order just because I changed my payment method. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. I had an outdated payment method in the system. I want to be sure my order processes properly. So I give you correct information to bill me and you punish me for it. That is not the way to treat a customer, especially someone like me who's been a longtime Amazon Prime customer, someone who relies on Amazon to give accurate delivery on items for my business all the time. And I have to now go, and I explained this to them. I said, I have to now go on stream today. And I have to explain to my audience of hundreds of people, and of course, once this this you know pre-stream gets ripped and posted all over the internet thousands of people will hear about it they're going to want to know what happened why didn't i get my ps5 i need to know what to tell them and i need to have uh, a resolution not that you guys just blow it off because that's going to make you look bad so the guy basically said all right i'm going to give you some amazon credit any day it's not a lot i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's not a lot he gave me some amazon credit and i said well thank you at least i appreciate that because at least that means you're doing what you can within your power as a customer service supervisor to try to help, you know? And like I said, the I, I can't say a negative thing. They really tried to help me. They couldn't. They were on the phone for an hour trying to help me. I'm sure they had better things to do. They couldn't. And then when they couldn't help, they went the extra mile. And, you know, they gave me uh, some credit. All right? So... That's nice. All right, go ahead and welcome Karen Burnell back to the fucking streams again. Jesus, man. So that happened, this this all happened November 11th of 2020. So we're not even a year past this date. And just keep that in the back of your mind for when we get towards the end. November 11th of 2020. Now let's read the message he posted in his stream that day. He replied to somebody who probably told him to shut the fuck up and quit crying. He says, I've already been told on Twitter that people will go elsewhere to watch the launch coverage. I'm 100% going to lose viewers and revenue over Amazon's screw up. Now, I'm not even gonna summarize because trust me, there's so many clips here we're gonna listen to. He'll summarize it himself what actually happened or what he thinks happened. But going back to the beginning of the clip, this is a direct quote. He says, you have to understand, I'm a live streamer. This is what he told the Amazon customer service rep. You have to understand, I'm a live streamer. The fucking rep probably muted their mic and started laughing their ass off. I'd be willing to fucking bet. This fucking loser here. What's your name, sir? What, what streamer are you? Oh, well, that, that's not important. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Don't look that up because it's going to be slander and blah, blah, blah. Not him masturbating on camera, but. So we get back to the message. People told him they were going to go elsewhere and watch other streamers if he didn't have the PS5 on launch day. Who told you that? Fucking who? Super blind man? Get the fuck out of here. Let him go. By the way, that's a pretty shitty fan base you have, Phil, if they actually told you that. If they're not loyal and willing to stick around and just watch you have fun. But again... It confirms he needs tricks and gimmicks and consoles and whatever to get fucking people to come watch him. Just confirms it. Another direct quote. That is not the way to treat a customer, especially someone like me. Again, the rep probably muted their fucking mic and just laughed and laughed. 
I know I damn sure would. Then another direct quote. This one pissed me off. So he says, he gets some Amazon credit, right? And the direct quote is, at least that means you're doing what you can within your power as a customer service supervisor. If that doesn't sound like a fucking Karen statement, especially the way he said it, go back and listen to it. It legit gets on my fucking nerves, man. It, to me, it sounds like he's talking down to someone that has an actual fucking job that works their ass off for a living. A customer service supervisor has to put up with a bunch of shit from people like Phil, no less. And this clown in his fucking pajamas all day playing video games thinks he's better than a customer service supervisor and that he can talk down to them. I can't even say what I really want to say right now because I know my fucking account would get deleted. But seriously, once the once the premiere's over, you know, go back and watch it. Let me know down in the comments if I'm hearing it wrong or I'm overreacting. That's how it sounds to me. You know, fucking pisses me off. But don't be afraid to disagree with me either. Sometimes I say stupid shit and if this is stupid, you can call me on it. But it just sounds like he's fucking talking down to the customer service supervisor. Let's see what happened in the next clip. Okay. So... It's Phil's fault, all right? What you really need to look at is the root cause, okay? Why did I have to change my payment method? Well, I explained that to you right now in this pre-stream. Because a malicious piece of garbage fucked me over the last two months with a ridiculous amount of fake tips using stolen credit cards... And decided to then charge them all, well, didn't decide to charge them all back, but knew they would all be charged back. All right? That's what happened. If it weren't for this person breaking the law, the amount of times they did, and I'm talking, this is probably about 100 times, 100 fake tips I received over the course of about a month and a half to two months. With stolen credit cards, none of this would have happened. The payment method still would have been all right. The order would have been processed fine, and I would have had my PlayStation 5 tomorrow. The only reason I had to change my payment method was because that person broke the law to send me fake tips with stolen credit card over the past two months. That is the root cause analysis. All right? So, once again, I get fucked because people think it's okay to fuck with me over the internet. And ladies and gentlemen, I've had it. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be very honest and transparent with all of you right now. I am overwhelmed at this point. Okay? I am. Last night, I felt incredibly depressed because I said it happened again. It's another situation where my life, my business is being massively negatively affected by people who I don't know, by people who I don't, I don't understand why they hate me, why people want to hurt me on a daily basis, this goes beyond, oh, I want to troll Phil by making a video making fun of him. This is actual calculated malice. This is a targeted attack against myself, my business, my livelihood. Because I cannot cover the PlayStation 5 at launch, I am going to lose a lot of revenue that I should have earned this weekend. And now I don't even know if I'm getting the PlayStation 5. And it's this, whoever this person is, I don't know who it is. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> that's the thing. It'd be one thing, wow, this is someone who feel really hurt in the past. You know, he really screwed this person over and now they've got a vendetta against him. I don't know <clears throat> who these people are. I don't. I don't know what I could have possibly done to hurt someone so much just being someone who got on a stream or turned on a camera and talked out of his butt being silly and playing video games for 12 years. I don't understand how anything that I've done in the last 12 years can constitute the heinous actions that are happening now to me on a daily basis. I just don't get it. <clears throat> okay? I just don't understand it. Um, at all. I, I Fucking victim segment. Jesus, man. You know, he claims that he was depressed the night before. Then he went to bed and he wasn't depressed the next day. You know, this is proof that his dumbass doesn't know what depression is. Just uses it as a fucking crutch whenever he needs to. 
He said, this is the root cause of the analysis. That fucking made me laugh. And then towards the end of it, he says, or I love how he says he's had it. Like big tough Burnell is about to come out again. And then he proceeds to just fucking cry and cry. Man, fuck you, dude. You're 40, man. You're 40. Anyways, let's fucking read the tweet here. Then we'll go to the next clip. So he put this out, I, I, I guess, uh, I guess before that pre-stream. He says, I can't sleep because I'm so damn stressed out. False DMCA is being done in my name. Another big chargeback and then losing my PS5 launch console has really messed with my head. I really just need a normal fun day of new release games today because I feel like shit right now. Then he wonders why he's the laughing stock of the internet and why people make these videos and again, nearly 40 year old man. I really just need a fun day of new release games today because I feel like shit right now. Again, Phil, I'm similar in age to you, buddy. And do you know what happens when I feel like shit? I fucking just put my head down and I go forward, man. I don't get on the fucking soapbox. I don't tell a bunch of people, oh, this and that, and pity me, and blah, blah, blah. You put your fucking head down, and you go forward. Don't fucking cry about it. Next fucking clip. Process. An avoidable situation. And I would have been fine. Because it would have just charged to the PayPal account, and I would have been fine. But I don't have money in the PayPal account because this guy screwed me over with so many false tips and chargebacks. Okay? So I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I actually don't even know what to say anymore at all. I don't know what to tell you guys about the future because it seems like I am at the whim of this person if I keep accepting tips, all right? But I can't not accept tips because I would need to build up about a month's worth of income to pay for the daily shit, you know what I mean? In order to turn off tips and say, okay, everyone, please just contribute via cheering and subbing. So... I don't know what to do. I'm at an impasse. I'm like, I, I'm weighing and balancing my options. I don't see a way out of this situation. Okay? And of course, you know, the know-it-alls in stream chat are suggesting things that don't work. So, one of the suggestions here is you could have just transferred money from your bank account to your PayPal account. And then it would have been fine. All right, well, there's two things I have to say to that. First of all, that's wrong. You can't just do that. Can you transfer money from a bank account to a PayPal account? Yes. And you do it with your bank account, and it takes about four to five days. I know because I've done it in the last month. As I've told you guys, my PayPal account was screwed over and in the red, and I had to actually transfer money from my bank account to my PayPal account. I tried to use my debit card, which should be instant transfer. And guess what? It doesn't work. If you try to use a debit card to transfer money from your bank account to your PayPal account, it says there's a limit on what you can do. And for example, my account was, I'm not exaggerating, over $1,000 in the red, my PayPal account. I tried to transfer money from my debit card, and it would only allow me to transfer like 200 That was it. It wouldn't actually let me get my account back into the, the black for some reason. I don't know what the reason is, <clears throat> but there's a limitation on what they allow. So then I had to tell my bank account, manually transfer through a bank transfer, to the PayPal account and it took six days because it's supposed to be three to five business days. They don't include weekends. So it takes six days to transfer. So there was no way. All right. There was absolutely no way to get that transferred over. I looked into it. I've tried it over the last month. It doesn't work. You may think so. You're wrong. I know because I didn't want my PayPal account sitting in the red for seven days and it has been or was because I couldn't get my money to transfer any faster. <clears throat> There's just no way to do it. Okay? Um, so, I had, absolutely had, to change the payment method. There was no way to do this. Any different. Okay? Anyone in the stream chat saying otherwise, you're wrong. I don't care about your particular situation where you probably transferred over 10 bucks and it worked. It doesn't work like that for big amounts. 
I'm telling you, I tried it last month. I was over $1,000 in the red. I said, I have the money in my bank account. Let me get that back to the black. And I tried to do it with the debit, and it let me transfer. If I remember correctly, it was like $170. And then it said that's all it would do. It, it Then, once you do that, it removes the ability to transfer money with your debit card anymore. It actually just completely removes it from your PayPal account. And the only option to transfer money is via your bank account directly, which is a three to five business day transaction. So you're wrong, and I don't want to hear anyone otherwise. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay? <clears throat> So you're wrong, and he doesn't want to hear your bullshit, so don't talk to him. It's absolutely insane. This guy runs into so many situations that most of us can't even fucking dream of, man. His PayPal is overdrawn by a, overdrawn by a thousand dollars on a semi-regular basis. Let that sink into you. He legit said that. Go back and listen to it. His PayPal is overdrawn by a thousand dollars more than once. It's happened more than once. His normal day-to-day -day life is a fucking clown show, man. And the sad part about it is we can't even tell if this shit about chargebacks and negative balances and all this other shit is even real. He lies so much. It's so hard to even take him serious. Let's read the tweet here. It says, to clarify, I absolutely had to update my payment method for the PS5. Back in September, it was before over 3,000 in chargebacks, and I could actually pay it with my PayPal account. The order would have bounced if I didn't change it to my bank, but now it looks like I'm effed. Yes, Phil, it looks like you're effed. Right? To do, to act like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what to do. The only way I could see myself getting out of the situation is somehow raising a ginormous amount of money, like a month's worth of revenue, in a very short window, so that then I can say, okay, I have the extra revenue, I'm good, I shut off my PayPal, and now everyone, if you want to contribute, cheer and sub. And that's it. And now, I have enough money to cover me for the month, for you know weekly groceries, cost of games and everything. How's that going to happen? How am I magically going to get this money? Yeah, sure, maybe if I didn't declare bankruptcy this year, I could have went out and got a business loan, and I would have been able to do that. I am not in a situation where this, this is going to happen. All right. <clears throat> so this really sucks. All right. And what's hilarious is someone, again, you know, you should keep a float in your PayPal account. A lot of streamers keep a thousand dollars of money in there for things like this. The person who did these false tips and chargebacks in one day sent $2,000. Okay. That's one day over the course of a week. It was, I believe, over $4,000, but I was just instantly sending those back to them, right? This would not help. What you're suggesting would not help at all, all right? I know you're trying to help. I've already worked these avenues. It doesn't work. There's nothing that can be done because if someone is willing to actively break the law like this to this capacity on a daily basis, there is no defense against it. And unless somehow the authorities get involved, which I can't do, I can't get the authorities involved here. This would have to be on the credit card companies for which the fraud is being committed, right? Unless they contact the authorities to have an investigation happen, I'm powerless. This is one of the giant shortfalls of being a live streamer for a living. And I don't know what to do to get out of it. All right. <clears throat> um, I, this sucks. So now my business is massively negatively affected this weekend because I'm not getting my PlayStation 5 on launch day like I should have. I'm being punished for doing nothing because someone out there hates me and has actively tried to ruin my life. And I don't know who they are. <clears throat> it's pretty screwed up, isn't it? Right? Another fucking pity segment and victim segment, man. So somebody suggests that he keeps a float in his PayPal account of $1,000 and he tells them it won't help at all. It makes me think of, uh, stop giving fucking advice about something you know nothing about. <laughs> Phil, if you're not going to listen to what these people are telling you, what's the fucking point of you telling them this shit, man? They're trying to help you and give you advice and every time they do, no, no. You just need to beg because you know what's good for you and it's fucking begging, right? Piece of shit. 
And of course, it's for pity and... That's why. So he can fucking beg because it's all just a fucking pity show. But he, <laughs> he even says if he hadn't declared bankruptcy, he could have possibly went out and got another business loan. This guy is so fucked in the head. If he thinks another loan is the answer to any problem after just going through a bankruptcy. I mean, what the fuck, man? Aren't you supposed to take, like, some mandatory classes or some shit after a bankruptcy? Don't you have to attend some kind of seminar or something? <laughs> like one of those seminars down in Florida or some bullshit? You know, those seminars where they have music and everybody, everybody's dancing. They have guest speakers, like guest bankruptcy speakers. Oh, the police are coming for me, guys. Maybe I'm thinking of one of those multi-level <laughs> marketing seminars, but still, man. Probably on fucking page one of the bankruptcy book. Don't take out any more fucking loans, you idiot. What is wrong with you? Jesus. Friday will be Black Ops Cold War. And then probably the rest of the weekend will just be... uh, Whatever. The new releases. If I get the PlayStation 5 on Monday, great. We'll cover it. I'll unbox it. I know I'm not going to get anywhere near the amount of attention or viewership that people would have given me tomorrow. Because it's already four days late. And you probably went somewhere else to watch an unboxing. You probably went somewhere else to watch the premiere of all those games. And you don't care anymore. I'll still do it. But it's kind of hard to get excited about it. Knowing that I'm super late. Because I got screwed over by someone like this. Alright. And admit, you know, last night I was in a bad place. Last night my mood was off the whole night. I feel bad because my poor wife saw how I was really upset that this happened. And I was very depressed. Luckily, I slept it off, and I woke up today, and even though I'm still upset, I'm not depressed about it anymore, but I'm just worried about the future, right? I am. I'm just totally worried about the future. Um, what's going to happen with these fake tips and everything screwing me over, and I don't know what safeguards I could take because there don't appear to be any besides just shutting off tips completely, Okay. All right, that's the situation. So what? here's my hope. My hope is thus, even though this is happening, you guys are still gonna tune into the streams and hang out with me on a daily basis to have fun with these new releases. I know I won't be playing PlayStation 5 at launch. I know that sucks. You guys were counting on that. You guys were hyped for it just like me and now it's not gonna happen. And I'm sorry for that. I really, really, really am. I tried to do everything in my power to make this happen. Um. And now I've, I've been, had that taken away from me. Okay. Um, and it is what it is. I could sit here and be depressed and negative about it constantly. And there's not much I could do about it. So why am I going to be like that? Right. <clears throat> I don't know. What else, like, there's nothing I could do. It's like you move forward positively or else you just get defeated and you give up. I don't want to give up. I want to keep going. I love what I do for a living. You guys love these streams, obviously, or you wouldn't support them. I don't want to just say I throw in the towel because there's someone out there who's so messed up in the head that they would actually hurt me like this. Okay? Um, so, it's that simple. Now, here's the thing. If this keeps happening, if this person keeps coming back and doing fake tips, I have to turn off my tips. So, I'm going to forewarn you guys right now. I'm actually saying this up front. All right. If I start getting a tremendous amount of fake tips now, I have to turn off tips and there's nothing I can do. And that actually means I don't know how I'm going to pay for stuff. And I don't know what I'm going to I really don't know what I'm going to do. But there's no way I can keep going this way. All right. There's not I can't I can't have someone sending me $100, $500, $1000 fake tips over and over and over destroying my PayPal account, you know? I just can't do it. I, 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 I have to do something, you know. So let's see what happens. But just so you guys know, that's just what's going to have to happen. Now, the thing is, if I can convert over to pure bits and subs, then I should be protected from all of this. But there's no guarantee that, you know, there's no guarantee of anything. And like I said, I don't know how I would make it through the month. I really don't know how I would make it through the month. 
And, you know, I used to believe these chargebacks. I used to 100%. And I obviously, I think Superhound's real. But I think this is the nugget of truth coming back out. He probably did get some chargebacks, and then he just blew it out of proportion to beg. I used to believe him 100%. I thought during, and I know for a fact he got fucked over during that best streak. Because this greedy fucking pig was accepting tips from anybody all the time. If you go back and uh, look at the Murdoch, I'm not sure if it was To Catch a Pay Pig, Murdoch Part 2. Or maybe it was Jack Lee's Biting the Hand That Feeds You. I went back and I showed the amount of tips that he accepted from, I think it was Murdoch. Maybe it was Jack Lee's, who fucking knows. But I showed the amount of tips he accepted from that guy in a month. And it was thousands of dollars. And he, every day, here's 50, here's 100, here's 200. And it was probably Superhound. Fucking him over because he's so greedy. How can you accept that much money from the same people, man? Over and over and over. How? And it's his greed that does it to him. But the point of what I was saying is, I don't even know whether I believe those chargebacks anymore now. I used to believe him, but... You know, now with everything coming out with the leaks and stuff, man, this shit might not even be true. He might have just, it might have just been another begging tactic. And it's so fucked up that I have to hope that the chargebacks are actually true because that's the better story of the two. How fucked up is that? And like I said, this is supposed to be a video game stream, man. Back to the beginning, direct quote. My poor wife saw how I was really upset that this happened and I was very depressed, unquote. She didn't give two fucks, Phil. I'll just tell you that right now. Just like your day off recently, you were supposedly on the phone all day trying to sort all this identity theft shit out, and you admitted that your wife was in the other room playing video games all day. That's a direct quote. She was in the other room playing video games all day. This is partly also why I don't believe him right now. You know, and the person that did all this on Kiwi Farms came out after, this, after that stream happened yesterday and posted what they actually did, what had been going on, and he refuted a lot of the shit that Phil said. Like it was multiple people and some organized attack. It was one guy. It was one fucking guy, one person. But he's on the phone all day and it's going to cost him a lot of money. I already don't believe him. Listen to what we just heard and listen to him again now. It's going to cost a lot of money to fix everything. I don't believe him. I just don't. Like I said, your wife don't give two shits. She should have been out running errands all day if you were on the phone. That's what a real loving spouse would do. You're on the phone all day. You're having to do all this shit and it's y'all's day off. She goes out and does all the fucking work and says, you know what? I'll do it, honey. You stay home and deal with this and I'll do it. But no, she was playing video games all day. And the next clip is going to be the last clip. And then we're going to wrap it up after that. And let's see what we got. So let's see what happens. All right. Now, some people, again, other suggest because there's a bunch of shout outs I need to do here. Why don't you just get one tomorrow? There's no way to get one tomorrow. All right. The only stores that have them available is going to be like Walmart. And all they're going to do is there's going to have pre order windows where you go online and you attempt to order while everyone else on the planet who didn't get one is trying to order. I am not going to be able to get one tomorrow. It's just not going to happen. That's like the most, that's like a point zero 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 one percent chance that I would be able to get one from Walmart and then actually go to Walmart and pick it up. It's not going to happen, all right? This is like a lottery at this point. It's like going and buying a lotto ticket and hoping that you're going to win the lotto, man. You know, and I don't play the lotto anymore. Can't afford it. But it's just not going to happen, okay? There's no other way to pre-order it. I'm shy. I just had to stick with my Amazon pre-order. I have to hope that I actually do get it via Amazon, and that's just what I gotta do, all right? How can you guys help? Well, show up to the streams this weekend. Hang out with me anyway, anyway even though I can't cover the PS5. Support if you can, all right? If obviously tips are preferred, as I've said, that's gonna help me afford these new games coming out and everything, um, even though it looks like I might not be buying them till Monday or later, but tips are preferred. But hey, any contribution method helps. That's really all you can do. I don't see. I don't foresee anyone being able to reason with someone over the internet who has actively committed crime after crime after crime. I just don't see it happening. Um, you know, so 
And they're not gonna like they're not physically selling PS5 consoles anywhere. They already announced there are no physical PS5 consoles being sold. You have to order them online. So it's not like I can just oh tomorrow I can go to a bunch of stores in the morning and see if I can get one. No stores are selling them online because of COVID. You had to have pre-ordered online. You cannot get them in stores unless you have a pre-order. All right. So it is what it is. Come please if you like this if you like me you like my content. Sorry that I can't cover the PS5 this weekend. Come to the streams. Support the streams if you can this weekend. I'll be playing all new releases. Yakuza, Assassin's Creed, Black Ops, Cold War. And we'll see what happens over the weekend. And if I get my PS5 on Monday, great. If not, I'm at the whim of whenever Amazon decides to deliver it. Amazon has done what they can in their power. Their system is automated and stupid and doesn't work properly. The fact that I got bumped to begin with doesn't make any sense. But it is what it is. Customer service reps, I can't get mad at. They don't control the system. The customer service rep actually gave me Amazon credit because he felt bad. You know? So, that's what I can say. Uh, that's it. That's the situation. Okay? <clears throat> it sucks. Alright, and this screenshot is from To Catch a Pay Pig Part 10. And... It's from Jay Bowler. And when I was doing the research for that episode and when I was writing stuff down, you know, this clip made me think, all right, well, let me write down state of the stream or I'm sorry, not state of the stream, PS5. And I'll go back and review it someday. And obviously that day is today. But all this shit that he did, I'm showing you this for a reason, because that pre-stream where he's just making himself a victim and crying and blah, blah, blah. It has an effect on his fans, and it's somebody like Jay Bowler, and I'm pretty sure y'all remember this. So that day, Phil was playing Yakuza, and he cheered 100 bits and said, Phil, I hope things get better for you, and I just have to say, it hurts seeing this happen to you, as I've always considered you as a friend on the net that hangs out, and I have someone to listen to in person since you're on cam every day. Please monitor those tips. And don't let these, and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, and I remember reading this on part 10, and it kind of fucked with me a little bit. You know, it upset me. And, you know, just him doing what he does on these fucking pre-streams, and these pity stories, and all this shit, has an effect on people like Jay Bowler. And, you know, it just made me think back to this, so I included the screenshot as well. But, you know, fuck you, man. You deserve this life, Phil. You fucking deserve this life, buddy. You you claim you have it hard, and that was one fucking pre-stream. The last seven clips we just listened to, six clips, whatever it was, was one day. One pre-stream. And then you have people like Jay Bowler and others who just, you know, they don't know any fucking better, man. They just don't. So anyways, that's the the story of the missing or the late PS5, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got plenty of ideas still for another video, so I'll probably have something up in about three days from today, something like that. Uh, post some ideas in the comments for videos you want me to cover, and if it's not on the list, I'll add it to the list, and we'll go over it eventually. Uh, let me go ahead and give a couple of shout-outs, and then we're going to sign off. All right, a quick shout-out to Dominic. Um, usually, I don't shout-out for Super Chats, because I'm usually in the premiere, and I can say thank you and whatnot, but he, uh... Super chatted 50 bucks last week, and that's a lot of fucking money, man. So just want to make sure I give another shout out to Dominic. Not just for that, but I've seen him in other streams, like playing with your beliefs, um, DDM, obviously, Dark Dave Mirrors. I've seen him in other streams, and he's always very fucking supportive. Not just financially, but you know, with his words as well. He always has good things. I've never seen a negative thing come out of this guy's mouth. So I don't know who Dominic is in real life, obviously, but Shout out to you, homie, for always being supportive. There's people like that that have nothing but positive things to say. People like Peachy. People like low-level content. People like Sasha. You know, there's, there's a bunch of them. Shiloh. There's a bunch of them that just never have nothing but positive things to say. Marthy Weed. And I can't name everybody, obviously, but I just want to let you know that, you know, it's not just all about financial all the time. It's about being positive Never having a negative thing to say, unless it's related to Phil, obviously. But, you know, people just, they show support in different ways. But I want to at least acknowledge Dominic. And then we go to a person by the name of G.A.T. 
Now, I'm not sure if it's GAT or GAT, but they, that, they said that's how I can address them. They sent me a, a tip last week or a couple of days ago after I put the last video up. It was very generous, man. It was 50 bucks. I'll just come out and say it. Sent me a $50 tip on PayPal. And in the message, he said, uh, put on the gunner glasses, bitch. And don't call me a bitch, motherfucker. No, I'm just fucking with you. But um, he said, put on the gunner glasses. And then he said something that I couldn't understand at the time. He said, if you look at the BK picture, what was that fucking clock in the car? And that's all he said. And it confused me. So I brought the picture back up and I looked at this clock here. We're going to blow it up a little bit. I, at first I was like, is that the radio? What is that? And then I was like, well, that's not the radio because it's right on top of the dashboard. It looks like a fucking alarm clock in his car or something. What the fuck is this? So the more I looked, the more confused I became. If somebody has a Toyota Corolla 2017 model or around there, can you confirm that it has an alarm clock in the dashboard? Because I know some cars have like a timer or a time. It's usually on the radio, though. I don't fucking understand what this is. Again, if somebody knows what this is, fucking post it in the comments so we can figure this out. But it kind of fucked with my head a little bit. I appreciate the tip, but you fucked with my head a little bit. I don't know what this fucking is. Anyways, um, shout out to everybody that showed up for the premiere. Shout out for anybody that gives a contribution. I'll shout you out next week as well again. Have a video up in about two to three days. Let me know ideas. And outside of that, I will talk to you when I talk to you. Less a fucking a go.